morning everyone so um thank you for joining me for those of you um who are have some free time uh, and firstly happy mother's day to all our moms and i know some for, for some of you it might be a difficult time today because you might not necessarily be able to be with with your mom today um so i am thinking of you and for all my clients that are mums, um, I hope you can watch this either later or join me now just for some um, nice relaxing time, just for 30 minutes of just pure zen and you'll be able to pick up a few tips and tricks that will help you, particularly if you're working from home over the next couple of weeks um, or just if you need to take some time out for yourself um, and do some what we call is the big buzzword of the moment, some self-care. Um, so you've probably got a chance maybe to get some of your, hi Damien, uh, to uh, get some of your pieces together um, from the post I put up yesterday. So basically I'm just going to talk you through a short step-by-step -step facial that you can be doing at home and one of the brilliant things we we get the Aldi and little magazines here like every Irish household every week one of the big things I was delighted to see this week was the jade roller and uh, basically this is a big beauty trend at the moment and for any clients that come to me um, I use um, a variety of skincare ranges but I particularly focus a lot on plant-based skincare ranges so today I'm going to be focusing on two brands that I use in the salon they're two Irish brands as well so hi to my ladies um, the first brand is the most recent brand and this is a brand from uh, County Tipperary and the, the lady's name is Nicola Conley and her brand is Nunoya and she lived for many years um, working um, with communities in the Andes and Peru and came up with this beautiful, beautiful product um, which is the Nunoya, Nunoya Nourishing Radiance uh, Serum and I'm going to be going to show you some work with that today. And also my other brand that I've had for many years now is a brand from County Wexford and hello to my lady and her name is Neve Hogan and her product and her brand is called Hollis Skincare and I'm going to be um, demoing from a variety of her products today as well. So hi to the two girls and we're all Irish and we're in this together. So if you're comfortable, some of you might have a headband on, some of you might even need the headband. For any of you guys that are watching, I know there's a few guys on there at the moment. Sure, join in, bit of crack. Um, and um, for those of you who don't, you can just keep the headband off just to make sure you're nice and comfortable. Try and make your space as relaxed as possible. So before we start, we're just gonna get everyone to do um, some deep breaths. And um, many of you might be familiar with the 448 uh, breathing method. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna go and we're gonna go breathe in through the nose. So we're gonna breathe in for four. We're going to hold for four and as you're breathing in, your stomach should be expanding. So we're breathing in and the stomach is expanding for four. We're going to hold for four and on the eighth count, what we're going to do is we're going to release all of that negative toxic bad air for eight. So you're just gonna blow it out and release all of that tension and stress. So we're just gonna do this for three times. So we breathe in for four, breathe in through the nose. Uh, we're gonna hold for four. And as we're breathing in, we should be making sure, put your hand on your tummy. And we're going to make sure the tummy expands. And as we breathe out, we're gonna breathe out for eight. So we're gonna breathe in for four. We're gonna hold for four. Okay, so that immediately feels nice and relaxing. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab our face cloth. So this is the face cloth that I'm using today and it's from Hollis Skincare. And it's a nice Egyptian kind of face cloth. So what we're going to do is we're going to literally pop that in to our bowl of water. And we're literally going to Pat this over the face. Mm. 
Now I'm kind of looking at my bags over the week. I'm sure for a lot of us, there's been maybe some restless nights, maybe just a busy adaption and you just might feel that your skin is all over the place. So the skin is the largest organ of the body and basically what's going on in the skin is reflective of what's going on in the inside. So we're hoping today to just press some points and alleviate some of that stress buildup. So first thing is if you've got your cleanser, what we're going to do is we're going to pop, this is the Hollis uh, cleansing cream. We're going to pop some pumps of this onto the hand. If you're using a face wash, you can use the face wash as well um, or a cleansing balm. Warm it up between the fingers. So before we get to the jade rolling part, I'm going to just do some skin prep with you guys today. So what we're going to do is we're just going to press onto the skin and you can just breathe in. Okay. So just make sure the cream is all around the face and you can work out onto the neck as well. Now, as we're watching this, don't be surprised if you start to feel almost like trance-like. That's a really good sign. If you find you're just getting really into the zone and you're really starting to relax and you can kind of feel yourself getting a bit dozy, that's a really, really good sign. It shows the body is kind of nice and relaxed and it's starting to relax. Okay. So the first movements I'm going to start is I'm going to start with my fingertips. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to just press just very lightly and these are some of the lymph points on our face. So basically the lymphatic system is connected to our immune system, which is really important at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to work around some of these lymph points just to keep the flow of lymph going. And the function of the lymphatic system in the body is to allow all of those toxins, those build up, that waste and that stagnant energy to just flow out of the body. So it's really, really important. So here, particularly an important area for women, it's more where we tend to get our breakouts. This is a point for lymphatic um, nodes on the skin. And what we wanna do is just massage these very, very lightly so we don't need some deep pressure, just very, very light massaging and some circular movements. Okay. And these are just some movements to help the body and the skin just relax. So, as you come along to the jawline, again, this is quite a hormonal area and it's an area where we tend to hold a lot of our stress and it's an area for breakouts as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move up along the jawline. And basically you can move up each area about two to three times. And what we're doing is we're stimulating the blood flow and we're stimulating circulation underneath the skin. Two major points of the lymphatic system for every one of us is behind the ears or just here at the ears. I should go behind the ears. It's just here. Okay. So these are, so what I wanted you to do is just go in some light, gentle, circular movements. Now what you might feel and experience as you're going through these facials um, or this facial today is you might experience a little bit of congestion, you might experience um, some phlegm at the back of the throat and some release. So this is a really good sign. It means you're starting to move your lymph um, and it's a really good sign to get rid of any kind of buildup and toxins from the past few days. So just massage gently down the back of the ear. So continuing on then, what we're going to do is we're going to work up onto the cheek area. Now if at this stage you need a little bit more cream, that's perfect. So I'm just going to use a little bit more. My skin is kind of quite dry. So around the cheek area here, we have some lip loads. I'm going to get you to hold here. So for any of you that have any buildup or any sinus at the moment, this is a pressure point and it may help to release some sinus buildup and some sinus pressure. So again, when we're working these parts of the face, we're working 
the organs in the body. So parts of the face are connected to different organs in the body. So here we're helping with our kidneys, our liver and our digestion system. So what we're doing all the time as we're working our creams and you can use the flat of your hands like this. You can use your fingertips. Some people like to use just one finger. So what we're doing is I prefer to use the three fingers. We're always moving outwards to those points at the back of the ear. So always we're moving outwards because what we're doing is we're draining all of that bad toxins out to the, the end. So when you get to underneath the eye, I generally use the little finger here, the index finger. So what we're doing is we're just gonna hold on a pressure point here. Thank you. So if you feel the need to close your eyes at this stage, you can do so. And basically what we're gonna do then is we're going to move outwards. So think of all the tired nights you've had this week, all the tossing and turning. So that's all gonna just literally move out of the body. So if you're feeling you're just getting nice and relaxed and comfortable and you're starting to feel a little bit dazed or a little bit like you're getting into a trance, this is a really, really good sign. And it means the body is starting to relax. So happy Mother's Day. There's some more people joining me on at the moment. Happy Mother's Day to you. And thanks for watching. I will post this video later on as well, so some of you might prefer to do this at night time. So what we're going to do is, a lot of the times when we have that dark circles under eye, this is what we call deoxygenated blood or stagnant uh, blood. So it's blood that basically has toxins in it and it needs to be cleared from the system. And that's sometimes how we get that kind of dark, kind of purple or bluish tone underneath the eye. So starting from the inner eye, and we're literally just moving out with some light pressure and always going out to the side. So remember, we're always kind of draining to the side. So about three times on each area is fine. Um, or as more as you need it, you can go up as far as 50 times, depending on how much time that you have and how relaxed you are. Okay. So when we get to the forehead, now, the forehead is where we tend to hold a lot of our stress. So for any of us who have been frowning a lot during the week, <clears throat> or a lot across our forehead, this tends to be where we hold a lot of our tension. For any of you that do suffer or have had migraines or had headaches during the week as well, um, again, this is an area where we want to focus on just to start to relaxing the muscles and draining out any fluids. So generally, I kind of crisscross my hands and we're just slowly moving out here. And you can do this two to three times. So I'll probably just do it two to three times just to show you. Again, we have some pressure points in here. So again, this is where we tend to hold a lot of our stress. And for some of us, we can get a lot of what we call tension headaches as well. So we just want to hold here at the brow. And then in your own time, we're going to get some circular movements. And we're going to go across the brow. Okay, 
So they're just some movements for the first part of your kind of cleansing part of the facial. So we're just going to go back and we're going to get our cloth. And now we're just going to remove kind of any excess. So what you're doing and the reason why we're slowing down and taking such time with the products is that you actually want your products to work. And I suppose over the time, what I find is a lot of people come into me and they've loads of really, really good products. Um, but sometimes you're putting them on, we might be putting them on too quickly and taking them off too quickly and not giving them enough time to work. So time is on our hands at the moment. So it's, it's a perfect time to work on your skin and work on your skincare, but also help you um, during your busy days and weeks ahead. And I hope to, uh, you know, that you start to feeling a little bit relaxed now, which is a really, really good sign. Great. So the next part of the facial that I'm going to show you today, and I'm just trying to keep it nice and concise for you is um, I like uh, usually every Saturday or Sunday is my kind of day and I do my facial. I like to just kind of remove any buildup from, from the week. So sometimes I find I get a lot of flakiness along here, particularly if you have a drier skin. For any of you that have congestion or more of an oilier skin, you may get some buildup here and you may get some buildup across the forehead then as well. So what I'm uh, going to use uh, today is the Hollis and it's the exfoliating um, polish. And it's one of my favorites and um, there's no beads and it has um, neroli lang lang and jasmine so it gives it a lovely lovely scent and it's really nice and light texture on the skin so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop out a little bit of that on my hand now the thing with an exfoliator is sometimes people go in really quick with an exfoliator and that's the reason why we do our a cleanser before is it allow the pores to open allow the dead skin to soften so when we do come in with our exfoliator it's going to lift so much easier and we're going to have nice shiny plumpy glowy skin afterwards um feel free to add some comments i know a couple of you are watching feel free to add your comments if you're not busy with this and i hope you're enjoying thank you so what we're going to do next with the exfoliator is same with the cleanser we're just going to get it around the face So once we have a nice layer all over the face and around the neck, what we're going to do is we're going to start some gentle movements. So again, we're starting around the neck. A lot of us, when we might put on our makeup, we might put on our makeup to around here. Sometimes I do when I have it and I hear. So again, if there's any buildup or residue from makeup over the week or over the days, we just want to make sure that that's all lifted. And again, we're going to work on the chin again. So again, if you have many, if a lot of you might have bumps underneath the skin. So the exfoliating polish is a really good way to gently remove it over time. So I'm going to be a little brewer here that I was kind of at. We'll kind of work on that. Um, so yeah, just some nice circular movements. And if you're lucky to be using some lovely smelly, nice, plant-based products you know the smells are just so enjoying uh, enjoyable as you're doing this as well now when you get to the cheeks just to be going around in soft circular soft circular movements and again be careful of the delicate eye area here you know the skin texture is a lot different from the rest of your face it's very fine it's very delicate and it needs to be just treated with that less pressure again So I like to focus on the nose a little bit. So for me, this is an area where it just gets very flaky and a lot of buildup. So we'll just go with some circular movements. So it's such a lovely day today. It's really sunny. Um, I was really panicking before I came on live because I'd set this up last night. 
uh, in the conservatory out the back and then the sun was glazing in on top of me and I was like I can't even do this it's going to be too sunny I'm going to be squinting so behind in front of me here I have a big sheet covering up the window um, so the sun isn't glaring in on my eyes so uh, yeah about five minutes before I started this I was up on a stool the things you do but it's all for a bit of fun Okay, so we're up onto the forehead now, and again, it's just small kind of movements. Um, I kind of like to work with the forehead. Again, it's where I hold a lot of my tension, so don't be afraid to get in there. This exfoliating polish that I'm using is very, very gentle. Um, so again, I you just control the pressure. For some of you, if the scrubs are a little bit stronger, just make sure you don't go in. You don't want to be stripping or really abrasive on the skin. You want to go in very lightly as well. So again, you can go over any areas that you feel you want to pay attention to. For me, it's the nose. For some of you, it may be around the jawline here on the corners. For some of you, it may be around here where you get a lot of buildup. And just to remember to keep this eye area particularly clear because again, it just needs to be treated a little bit differently. And we're going to do a little bit of that with the jade roller now shortly. Okay, so when you're happy then that you've got your exfoliating polish done, what we're going to do is we're going to go back with our cloth and we're literally going to cleanse this down. Hi Noelle, hi Rowena. Thanks for staying with me guys. I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed by now. Okay. Headband starting to move. So once you've got that done then, the next thing that we want to do is we've worked really, really hard to open up all the pores. Now what we want to do is we want to close the pores back down. So literally what I am going to do is I have my toner spritz here. If you have toner, one second. Um, this is the floral toner. It's the professional size from Hollis. Um, but I also have it in a little spray bottle as well. So again, with your toner and your cotton disc. So this is rose water. Um, and it's just really, really soothing, particularly from stressed or tired skin. So we're literally going to clean off any kind of excess, any beads left over from the exfoliator. And close all the pores back down okay so by now you should be feeling a little bit better the skin is looking a little bit better we're getting there um, so now we're going to start working with the the jade roller so for some of you and um, I hope you might have got the chance to put this in your fridge last night so it's nice and cold it really really helps with deep puffing on the skin as well so to facilitate that we need what we call slip so we need some slip on the skin. So that allows the kind of roller to kind of move over the skin nicely and it allows the product to work a little bit better. So to do that, um, we need some good quality oils. So I've got two oils that I use. Uh, one is the Hollis, it's the anti-aging facial oil. It's the best seller in the range. And this lovely beauty is the new Noya uh, Nourishing Superfood Radiance Serum. Um, both Irish brands, I love them both as much. Um, but today I'm going to focus on the Nunoya. The smells are absolutely amazing. Even the smells alone will send you into a trance. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop one drop on the skin like so. And we're going to pop one drop here. And one drop on the forehead. So we're just going to lightly, with some light movements, we're just going to move this across the skin. Okay, 
and that's going to create what we call slip. So the jade roller, now um, I suppose it's been in Aldi this week for $7.99. Um, the jade rolling is, is a concept from uh, ancient Chinese traditional medicine and again a good uh, true quality jade stone is what they recommend. For the purpose of this, this is to show you some uh, nice fit relaxing techniques, give you a little bit of enjoyment so we're not going to get too technical about whether we have a true quality jade stone um, on our hands but the theory is, is anyone who's into crystal healing jade stones tend to lift negative energies tend to pre promote calm um in in the body mind and spirit and so we're kind of going to go with that kind of basis today the other part in terms of the physical aspects of the jade, jade roller is it helps with detoxification of the skin it helps detoxification um of of the lymph and helps to move the lymph it helps to create blood flow and in creating blood flow it brings the vibrancy back to the skin so remember as I said particularly around the eyes we're getting rid of that stagnant kind of blood flow and we're making the way for some nice good circulation around the skin very very good for tackling fine lines and wrinkles and particularly if this is done over a consistent basis so again while you'll see a nice result from today your skin might be feeling a little bit tingly over time if you're consistently doing this and if you're consistently doing a DIY home facial you will see some good improvements and I'll post some comments after the facial and um, because there will be some things I'll forget as I'm going along okay so the main thing is when we start um, with um, the jade rolling as we start on the neck so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another drop or so just to the neck So when we start with the jade roller, what we're going to do is we're actually going to move in some downwards motions. So two of our lymph nodes, if you want to get your index finger, are just at the collarbone here. So what we want to do is we want to drain downwards any kind of lymph. So again, it's to detoxify the skin. So we're going to start here with the neck with your jade roller. And again, we don't need deep, deep pressure, real intense pressure. Very, very light, light movements, particularly all along the neck here. So remember, we've got the lymph node point here and all the pathway right down to the lymph here. So what we're doing is we're just nice and relaxing. Again, if you're feeling you're getting a little bit of congestion or you're getting any kind of a release through the nose or through the back of the throat, this is a really, really good sign. So again, what you might do is want to move over the area two to three times. Okay. So as we move up onto the chin here, we'll basically just hold and we're just going to roll over. And particularly along the jawline, if you're someone who holds a lot of stress. So if you're a grinder, if you grind your teeth, if you clench your teeth, or you find you are holding a lot of stress here on your jawline, you might feel that if you're rolling over, you're confined, you're just breaking up all of that connective tissue and just helping to release any toxins and drain it out through the lymph system. Again, you're just draining to that lymph point here at the side for drainage so always be careful you want to be making sure and again you'll notice that I'm not going over and back with the roller we're always going in the one direction okay 
So as we get to the eye, if you have this, or you might have a roller which is slightly smaller, so this is something I have as well. So rather than using the big side up, we're going to use the smaller side. What we're going to do is we're going to start from the inner corner. And we're going to work outwards. Now, if you've had your jade stone in the fridge, this is really, really cooling. Anyone who's getting puffy eyes, tired eyes, if you've been crying this week, if you've been stressed this week, if you've not been sleeping great this week, this will help just soothe your tired eyes. Hello Auntie Francie, I see you're watching. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, so once we've got the under eye done, now what we wanna do is we wanna move over the eye. And again, the eye and the eyebrow is an area that tends to hold a lot of tension. So again, if you're, if you're prone to getting some tension headaches, Working along the brow bone here will help to just break up any connective tissue and release any stagnant lymph. Okay, so I have a wide forehead as you can see, so I like to go back to using, if you have a smaller kind of face, you can continue with the smaller roller. Again, I put my hand here, just one finger here in the center, just for kind of some hold. And we're going to work over. And again, it just helps to break up any kind of tension. If you hold tension in your forehead, if you've been frowning a lot, it helps to break up that and release it. So always remember, we're working to the side and we're working in one way. So we're not rolling over and back, we're just rolling one way. That feels so relaxing. It's so nice. So what I've tried to do today is just to condense and focus on the main points of jade rolling rather than doing a full on, you know, full in-depth facial. So again, these are just the important things that you can be doing at home that really have a benefit on lifting you and lifting your spirit and lifting your energy and lifting your mood and it's something that you can be doing while you're indoors or while you're at home for the next while to make sure that you're concentrating on your skin because remember if you're feeling good if your skin is feeling good and you look in the mirror and you feel good that's a that's a lot that can help you through your day and your working days ahead okay so what I'm going to do while I'm with you for the next few minutes, I'm going to repeat on the other side and then we'll kind of come to the end. Um, we'll do some finishing as well. So remember, we're going to go back here and we're going to go back to the, the chin area and we're going to move outwards. So sometimes remember we have that lymph point here at the side, we're going to drain to the side. So we're going to go three times in each area and you're going to work with me. Okay, so here we go. So the oil that I'm using today to create the slip is Irish brand Nanoya and her, the lady's name is Nicola Connolly and she's from Tipperary and she has created this fantastic facial serum um, and I'm also using products from Neve Hogan, um, Hollis Skincare and her brand is from County Wexford. Um, in particular with the Nanoya serum, I suppose it's something that we brought in before Christmas and I had the pleasure of meeting Nicola and the benefits so it's an avocado oil base which is a really really good nourisher really works to give some vitamin e into the skin which is very good for moisturization and antioxidant or fighting properties 
She also has some maracuja, um, and these are ingredients from the Andes and Peruvian regions, um, chia and sasha inchi. And collectively, these works work to particularly the chia to give your omegas three, six, and nine in the correct ratio to help with the plumpiness and glowiness of the skin. Um, anyone who, you know, from her studies, anyone who is using the serum even after, uh, I think it's 12 hours, you see a 6% um, increase in moisturization in the skin. Now I'll have to check my stats to make sure I have that correct. But again, it's fantastic. So I'm just kind of going back in some areas, just, you know, there's no right or wrong way with the jade roller. Sometimes this is just a really good de-stressing and relaxing method as well. So when we come to underneath the eye, we're going to switch to the smaller part of the roller. And again, if it's nice and cold from the fridge, it's going to help with depuffing the eyes for anyone who's just jumped on. So what you want to do with the jade roller is the jade roller helps you to actually slow down your skincare routine. So again, this can be done in the morning, even if you have just five minutes, just take five minutes to do a little bit of jade rolling. Or if you have maybe your Sunday and you're just spending a little bit more time on your skin. So basically the jade roller is helping you to slow down and by slowing down and working with your product, your product is actually going to work much better for you and it's going to get further down within the epidermal layers so where you can see it's actually working. Again, when you're working with the jade roller and the eye, just come up here onto the brow, which is where we can hold a lot of our attention just to break down any connective tissue and toxic lymph and we're draining always to the side. I can't stress to you how important the lymphatic system is because it's connected directly to the immune system. So particularly at the moment, we're trying to keep our immune systems as strong and as resilient as possible. So these are just some nice techniques if you're into skincare that you can be doing at home on a daily basis for self-care, but also what you're doing has much more power going through the body as well. So what we're trying to do is literally drain from the body at, at all times. So any kind of stagnant, stagnant energy, stagnant lifts, st stagnant toxins and stagnant buildup. So just to finish, we're going here across the forehead. So if after this, um, you have any questions, by all means, send me some questions through the Facebook page. Um, hi, Jasmine, how are you? Thanks for joining. How are you? So we're coming to the end. So I hope you feel nice and relaxed. And what you should start to see if you've been with me for the whole facial is you should start to see that the skin is starting to glow a little bit. You know, it feels kind of nice and relaxed. You might feel that you've kind of got this tingly kind of feeling on the skin. So that's a really positive sign. It means the blood is flowing. It means the lymph is flowing. So some final tips then to kind of finish off. What we're going to do is we're going to use the roller. And now that we've kind of got everything drained here to the side, what we want to do is we want to drain it out here through our lymph node points here, which are just behind um, the collarbone. So if you take your index finger and you come inside here, this is where your lymph nodes are. So the pathway is from the ear to here. And what we want to do now is we want to drain downwards and drain out that toxic buildup. So we're going to use our roller from here. Hi, Jasmine. It's so good to see you. Thank you. So again, we're just draining down. And again, just make sure you're not applying too much pressure with the jade roller. The jade roller will do the work for you. It's very much the lymph system just needs some light, some gentle movements when we're working with the lymphatic system. 
So remember your pressure point is here, your lymph point is here, your lymph node. And we're working downwards. And what you can do next is you can get your index finger and just inside, so if you feel for your collarbone here, just inside you've got your lymph nodes. What you can do is you can just massage them nice and gently. Very, very gently. If you feel you're getting some um, release either through the back of the throat or through the nose, and um, this is a really good sign. It means your lymph is starting to flow. Um, so what we're trying to do is remove kind of any blockages and just stimulate that lymph flow. And again, the lymphatic system is connected very, very strongly with the immunity system. So what we're trying to do is these are just simple things to help keep your lymph system doing its job, fighting off infection and carrying white cells around the body to where it's needed. So for those of you at this point, um, I didn't, I'm not going to use a mask today, but I'll probably do another facial with the mask in it just for the purpose of time. And I want to keep it nice and concise. I know you have other things to be doing today and you want to spend some time with your families, either in the online space or in the physical space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish then for any of you who have dry skin. Um, I have a couple of creams that I like to use. This one for me at the moment is my saviour. It's the Get Better Butter from Hollis. You can use it on the hands, you can use it on the face and you can use it on the body. Um, it's a mixture of shea butter, coconut butter, lime, juniper, lots of ingredients in there. And it's really helping with my hands and my cracked knuckles at the moment, which I'm sure we're all experiencing. If you have um, if you if you have more of an oilier skin, this cream might be or a rich cream might be too heavy for you. So something lightweight or a light kind of cream um, that you can use is better. So two that I have is the Hollis and it's the Good Morning Cream. It's kind of a light um, cream, particularly for oily combination um, and build up skin, uh, build up on skins. And then we have the Hollis, which is the Hollis Face Cream or the Hollis Day Cream. And this is really, really good. Again, it's a light cream. Um, the Hollis in the Love Your Skin range is very good for anti-aging. It's also very good for even the most sensitive skin types as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to get a little bit of my Get Better Butter. And again, these smell so good. So just to massage into the hands. The hands love it as well. So you can breathe in as you're applying your moisturizer. And again, this is just to finish off and unwind. This is a great routine that you can do in the morning or in the evening time, whenever you have that time. Or what you should do is what I say, carve out this time for yourself now. It doesn't have to be 40 minutes or an hour, it can simply be 15 to 20 minutes, somewhere that you can sit in solitude. You can have some music, some, have some candles, have your nice fluffy slippers on, have a nice cup of beside you, some water, and just take some time to spend some time with yourself. Okay. Ah, I hope you're all feeling really, really good. I really needed that. I just woke up this morning and my skin was just feeling so, so dry. So I'm, I'm feeling much, much better now. So thank you for watching. So lastly, what I would recommend today is I would recommend some water, um, water with lemon if you can, just to make sure that any of the, the lymph that we're draining, any of the toxins that we're draining are continuing to flow and get out of our body. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything else to say. I could talk to you all day about just random stuff, but I hope you've really enjoyed this. Again, this week for me has been all about just trying to think of ideas and trying to come up with some new ways of connecting with my clients, my new clients, and to continue my business running. So I really appreciate your support. 
And while all my content may not be relevant for you personally, I really appreciate if you could maybe set this up for someone who is at home and um, who maybe just would like something different for them to do. Um, and as I said, if you can, you know, it might not be relevant for yourself, but maybe for someone else. So if you can like it, you can share it, you can share the word, spread the word. Um, as a qualified health coach and um, I suppose working in the beauty business, I'm trying to kind of do lots of different things and different content. So if you have some ideas, please send them to me. Um, I'm more than open to ideas at the moment. I really hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, video and I hope you have a lovely Sunday. The sun is shining, the birds are singing and again my word I think I suppose I'm using at the moment so instead of isolation we're talking solitude so think of that so anytime you're hearing the word isolation try which can sometimes be coming across in a negative sense at the moment I would try to think of the word solitude so it's a time for us to spend with ourselves and if we're lucky to be in a in a home situation with our family and um, to spend some time with our family as well and really take stock so again when you're hearing isolation just think solitude it's all about creating that positive vibe for yourself that makes your day-to-day -day easier um so i hope you've enjoyed this i'll talk to you soon online and thank you for watching thank you for sharing i really really appreciate it have a great day